Uh, Neil, here we go for the first time this season. We are going to run through the team. Um, when we actually get around to playing on Sunday, it'll be the first time in 371 days that we've actually played. So um, a long time for, for you and for the players. First of all, you must be raring to go. Yeah, yeah, completely. Look, this week's there's been a there's been a great bit of excitement around down at the bay and the training, um, building towards playing on playing on Sunday for the first time in, in just over a year. So, yeah, everyone's excited. Everyone can't wait to get out there. Um, you know, we've had a few uh, false starts with with when we were going to start in January. Well, initially in November, then it got pushed back to January. You know, so we're just really happy now that you know, as of March the seventh, we're, we're back into it. Um, and we'll, we'll get to play some some rugby that we've all been waiting for. And well, over a year ago, um, throughout the whole of last season, we used to bang the drum on. You love playing on a Friday night at the Bay because the fans and the atmosphere um, really made it special for you and the players. It's not going to be like that this season, um, and I'm sure you know you and the boys are, are really going to miss the fans that aren't going to be able to be there. Yeah, look, we're gutted the fans can't be there. You know, everyone loves playing on a Friday night, playing at the Bay. Um, you know, we've had some great games down there, some great atmospheres, um, you know, and we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. But it's up to us on the weekend to make our own atmosphere down there and, um, you know, put out, put on a performance that, you know, everyone could be proud of against what's going to be a pretty, pretty competitive Ealing side. And traditionally, Nottingham have always made it quite tough for Ealing to come to the Bay and Sunday will be absolutely no different. Yeah, look, Ealing, they've played, they've played a good amount of pre-season friendlies and we haven't played any. Um, you know, they've got a team that's fairly settled, that's been playing week in and week out. We've got 10 debutants and um, big change over in our squad. But look, one thing you can always rely on from a Nottingham team is that they're going to be tough, um, they're going to be well organised, and they're going to and they're going to be competitive. So that's what we're looking for the weekend. Uh, and it guess is, is what a, what better way to uh, kick off the season on on the team that's hoping to be in there in the promotion playoffs at the end. You know, we've got we've got nothing to lose. We're going to go out there and play play our game and and you know throw the ball around, and uh, you know we'll we'll put the pressure back on Ealing to uh, to perform. You mentioned the 10, 10 debutants there. Um, so they are 10 brand new faces into the club. And then you've got the likes of Jordan Coglin, who in effect is making his third debut for the club, and um, Carl Garside, who was with us last season. So there's a lot of change within the squad. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of change. Obviously, as we've changed our model from full-time to a part-time model, people are going to move on. And, you know, it's sad to see them go. Um, but look, this is a new group and we've got to find a new way of playing and um, get to know each other. You know, we've been together contact training for four weeks only, um, having moved through all the different stages around uh, managing the pandemic, um, which is quite right. And, you know, we know we have to move through those different stages. Um, but it does mean we've only had four weeks of contact. So, look, we these guys are bonding pretty well together already. You know, you've got guys from Sale, from Tigers, Wasps, um, Saints, and and the Scarlets, um, as well as the Nottingham Nottingham players. So, look, we, we we're going to be learning on the job. We're going to be getting out there and, and and putting our best foot forward as, as we can. You know, and what's great is after the evening game is we also then have a bye week going into Amps Hill, so it gives us more time to to bring this squad together. And under what are pretty unusual circumstances, where unfortunately we can't spend as much time together as a group as we would have liked. Mm. Yeah, I was going to mention that break. So um, the way the fixtures fall for Nottingham is uh, a game on the first week and then a bye week. So, you know, in effect, you've got you've got two weeks of training there where you can probably make up for a bit of lost time in pre-season. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we've trained through this week. <clears throat> There'll be a group that go out and play this weekend and we'll be training hard next week and, 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 and getting ready to to move in, move into the week following for Ams Hill. So, look, yeah, we're, we're, we're working hard. We're, we're trying to bring this squad together as, as quickly as we can. Uh, you know, but with any new squad, there's going to be a few teething issues. We're just interested in what our attitude's like, whether we, uh, what our physicality's like, how hard we get off the line in defence, you know, how well we uh, carry ball in attack and how well we, you know, get stuck into all those physical confrontations. We know that... Um, Elin are going to bring 
Um, you know, and we'll, there'll be nerves out there from the lads as well because they haven't played in so long. But what's great is you're going up against one of the best in the league. You know, we've got a bit of pressure on them to to perform and make sure they're in the playoffs at the end. You know, they'll be feeling a bit of pressure. There's a, obviously a lot of expectation on Ealing this year, having beaten Saracens a couple of times. You know, so that they'll be they'll have nerves as well going into the first league game. So, yeah, you know, we're we're looking to get out there, put out. Put, put a performance on that is, you know, showing where we're up to at the minute. Mm. And, it, and it is exciting for for the fans that obviously they can't be there, but they'll be able to watch on a live stream. But it's really exciting for them to see 10 new players and, and pretty much, a, you know, a, a whole new Nottingham team to go out there and test themselves against the best. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, how good how good is it for the supporters? They've got the, you know, and our great green and white fans, and they've got the opportunity to watch it on the stream and, and be part of it, albeit from home. Um, you know, all the lads know that people will be tuning in to view it. That's exciting in itself. Um, you know, and it, it's great to see some of these young guys go. And, you know, you get to see some of the some of the guys that are for, uh, they'll be with Nottingham for the full season as well, not just the dual reg guys. You, know, you get some, to see some of the new faces in there as well. Um, as we as we start to filter these boys back into rugby when they really haven't played a, a great deal of time in the in the last twelve months or done uh, a, a great deal of training, you know we're really fortunate to have great relationships with with uh, the Premiership clubs and uh, and uh, the Pro Fourteen clubs in, in Scarlets with uh, Glenn Delaney over there at Scarlets and you know good relationship with the guys down at Leicester as we've always had. Um, you know, it was really, you know, helped to put a, 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 a squad together, you know, and then new relationships with teams like Sale, which has been fantastic, you know, and picking up on old, um, you know, fledgling relationships that have been working over the last year or two with Wasps and, and Saints. So, look, it does help us with our strength and depth, bring those guys in, and it does give us an opportunity to make sure the lads that are playing for Nottingham actually uh, are in a good place to play in, in a couple of weeks' time when um, you know when they've had some more contact under their belts. Mm -hmm. Those relationships, I mean, we mention it all the time, but they really are so important to um, to a team like Nottingham. We we saw on on Wednesday that we brought eight um, dual reg players in, and and it's it's instances like that that you know you, you're really going to need throughout this season. Um, yeah, absolutely. These, yeah, yeah. These ten games are going to come thick and fast. Um, you know, and as we said, people haven't played rugby for 12 months. Um, so look, there's going to be there's going to be situations that arise. You know, there's people that are going to have a big spike in what they've done in terms of training over the last so many months. So you know, having having these guys come in that are talented young players, you know, being led by some of the older um, players in our in our side is it, fantastic. And we get the blend right and uh, bring everyone through. And the exciting thing is that. Uh, you know, already, even in the limited contact we can have with each other socially, you know, the group's starting to come together. We're starting to see, you know, build some common purpose. So that's fant that's fantastic to see. And look, in, in terms of managing things, we know the Prem Cup will be coming up in um, April time. So some of these guys hopefully will go and put, um, put on their uh, parent club shirt and, and do really well for them. So, look, this is an opportunity at the time to, to manage our squad to the, to the best effect, really. With not being out on the field for um, over a year, at what point do the nerves start to kick in? Uh, I think our first uh, contact hit out last night, uh, last week. There were uh, full contact hit out. There were some nerves in there, some boys running around, um, panicking, looking for the gum shield that's been in the bottom of the bag for for twelve months. Uh, no, but no, nah, the, the the lads have been dying to get back in and play. To be honest, and you know there will be nerves around getting back out there again, but just that you know the the uh, the noise level and the uh, contact level of that first session was uh, was unbelievable really just because the guys haven't been able to do it and it's a massive part of what they do um, and so yeah they were they're bursting at the bit to get out there and play.